Isaiah 49 Let's start from verse That should be 24 Isaiah 49 24 Shall the prey Be taken from the mighty It's a question Or the lawful Captive You know who a lawful captive is A lawful captive is one who was Bought from a slave master Because those days they used to sell human beings Just like chickens And so if I am a slave And my slave master comes and exchange Money with someone And they transfer me I am still a slave I am a lawful captive Number two If a king leads a delegation to go for war And they conquer the people and kill the king All the people within that land become slaves Is that true? They are called lawful captives For instance Israel in Egypt They were lawful captives That's why they could whip them to build those pyramids And all those Egyptian buildings But he's saying Is there a possibility That when the mighty has taken a prey Or the lawful captive Can he be delivered Let the Lord answer it by himself But thus saith the Lord hmm. Even the captive of the mighty Shall be taken away And the prey of the terrible Shall be delivered For I will contend with him That contended with thee and I will save your children. There is a cure to demonic covenants. There is a cure to yokes and spells and hexes and all of these things. Please hear me. There is a cure. Hmm. When Jesus Christ hung on that cross... It was not just the body of a 33 year old man hanging His blood was touching the earth That old earth that is one of the witnesses When he drained his blood And according to the revelation of Paul to the church in Hebrew, the Hebrew church When he went as a high priest and a lamb also He poured his blood once and for all and he returned back to the earth and said all hail he said all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me listen john said i wept for no man that means men are doomed i wept for no man is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll and the elder said Weep not Weep not Oh Crying comes to an end Weep not Weep not For behold The lion of the tribe of Judah The root of David Has prevailed The word prevailed means qualified To open the book And lose the seven seals The six And I beheld and in the midst of the throne were four beasts and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though he had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes the lamb that was slain now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise up, we raise up, for you are God and God alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne, we raise us For you are God and God alone. Hallelujah. Listen, can I tell you this? The lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Listen, 
Listen. There are people today who under normal circumstances you should not rise. I don't know what my forefathers did. I don't know what they did. In, in dating, there is what we call AD and BC. Is that true? The middle man was Jesus Christ. I may not know what happened before he came. But the good news is that he came. He came. He came. Please listen to me. Your destiny depends on what you are hearing. Remember everything I taught you today. Satan is not looking for your money. He's not looking for your fruitfulness. He's not looking for your job. He's not looking for your health. He's looking for loyalty. Transgenerational loyalty. And that the structure of his operation largely is deception. He manipulates strategies that fights the word of God. The principal raw material for his fashioning his attack against you is the word of God. It's amazing that it's not only God and believers that use the word of God. Satan uses it too. It is his principal raw material. Hear me. You hear of young men going to go and do money ritual. You will never see Satan following them. Yet he's the one moving them. Deception. Listen. And when they go and do the money ritual, you will see that there are physical evidences. Money comes, so they will go and do it again. Because they don't know what else. Satan will never tell you the complete story. And he will never tell you the whole truth. He will doctor the truth to present it in a way that provides an advantage for him. When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. All truth. Satan has deceived pastors. Satan has deceived churches. For instance, the understanding and the theology that you should just concentrate on serving God in your spiritual life and don't worry whether you are doing well or not, whether your finances are doing well. It looks like a sincere message, but that is a destructive message. Many sincere people have received it and today they cannot pay the school fees of their children and today they are in trouble. And then for others, who come and fall into this deception everything is about prosperity and prosperity and money and making it and doing all of this and they forget about strengthening believers to be strong no knowledge of the truth no evangelism no nothing and people become carnally minded all they want is competition of clothes and cars and all of that that is another kind of error but when the spirit of truth comes he will bring the whole truth and create a balanced, structured growth. Another kind of lie that Satan is so mighty, you don't know what he can do. Be afraid and be watching. Always be in a position of warfare. And by warfare, they mean just be ready to fight. That is not scriptural. It may be sincere. It may be well-meaning. By well-meaning people, but believe me from the authority of God's word, that is not the position of the believer. We have been given a position of victory, victory, victory in Christ. Then the ones who say, ignore everything, don't worry about anything. Provided you are happy, you are fine. And the devil likes such sermons. And he continues to use subtlety to wreak havoc over people. Satan will join the heads of a husband and wife and stand behind and watch them in ignorance blaming one another for food, for car, for house rent and it is none of those issues the adversary join the heads of people and go back and watch with joy now you are getting intelligence that everything that happens in your life among the many factors you put together to interpret the happenings in your life do not forget to tap into the wisdom of the spirit be able to discern his deception the way my husband has been behaving in the last two weeks something is wrong 
you don't just say i will show you that i'm a wife you think you just married a foolish person when you think like that he has also deceived you to join your head together indeed one person has to create the advantage in that equation and in that case let it be you and you go and begin to pray now i will teach you by next week when we are dealing with administering deliverance because most believers say pray but most believers don't know what they are saying this idea of praying does not just mean talk to god mm -mm. god is not the only person you talk to in prayer there are times you talk to the situation there are times you talk to the devil there are times that you talk to you engage and call into remembrance the integrity of god all of it is called prayer so don't say i prayed we need to vet what you did based on the situation you are trying to handle just because you were given injection does not mean you were given the right treatment we have to look at what was wrong with you and who gave you the injection and what you were given and we can say no you have typhoid this is not the treatment for typhoid are we together so just because you feel the pain of injection you can say i received the injection i should be well that's what is frustrating many believers because they will tell you apostle i have prayed you don't look nobody prays like me i agree let's hear what you have been saying let's understand to who you have been talking first let me know what you want to achieve you will find out that many believers have just been wasting their time when they say pray they just be, they just mean talk talk loud add it again to god round up you have prayed you will never get victory that way it takes intelligence to understand what to say there were times jesus spoke to the father father i thank thee because you hear me and he turned and said open the tomb lazarus come forth notice the protocol when he was about to break bread he gave thanks and said go and share it is that how you multiply he never said multiply this bread he just said give give thanks go and multiply it when he stood before demons he did not talk to the father he rebuked the spirits go when he sent the disciples he said in my name when you find the spirits use my office my name does not mean j-e-s-u-s -E my name means the consciousness of my office i have given you a position use it when you see satan and they return back with shock and they said even do you know the most outstanding miracle every miracle jesus did had been done in the old testament the only miracle that had not been done in the new testament was a miracle of deliverance never had a man used authority and a name to remove any demon you don't find that in the old testament you find them playing strings and the demons living are we together now but you do not find anybody using a name to remove any demon it's not done any in fact what they do is they will kill the person they stone the person who is demonized when he dies they now frustrate the demon because like you have learned it takes a long time for demons to find bodies they don't just find any body they can find any mind but they don't just find any body bodies are scars bodies are scars that's why a legion will live in one body because bodies are scars are you ready to pray I made up my mind that I will open up the truth to God's people to really understand with balance and with understanding. Don't just say I'm born again and everything is over. It may not be very accurate. You need to be instructed and to have superior spiritual understanding. For now, you understand what deliverance is. That it has to do with establishing and manifesting your victory, not fighting for it. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah. 
points. Prayer point number one. I taught you the three levels of demonic influences. You are going to pray and immune yourself by knowledge and declare that in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, for you and for your loved ones, whether it is witchcraft through deception, whether it is manipulation and control of your mental faculties, whether it is possession of your unsaved loved ones, declare in the name of Jesus that you are free completely from this. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 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 In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Second Corinthians chapter ten. Second Corinthians chapter ten. Please give us verse five. Second Corinthians ten, and let's start from verse four. Second Corinthians ten four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds you know what a stronghold is a stronghold is a negative mindset that has been fortified by the presence of demon spirits to ensure that the victim remains in that thought pattern they are called strongholds when a wrong mindset now has the fortification of demon spirits it is that state that makes the individual the word of God of non effect casting down imaginations from the word imagery and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity help me every thought this is the realm of warfare your mind even though Satan knows that you have the victory he knows that your mind is part of the participatory systems that will make victory manifest so he will hijack your thinking are you ready to pray lay your hands on your head representing your mind and I want you to begin to prophesy I have a sound mind in the name of Jesus a mindset that is word based word compliant word based word compliant someone is praying lay your hands on your head prophetically over your children someone is praying shake it take a pack of toast go to take it out shkati print take it take it ask you Every wrong thinking, every wrong teaching, every wrong understanding, cultural, demonic, sociological, that is authorizing darkness to take advantage of me. In the name of Jesus, I cast down every imagination. Stop! 
find faulty thinking patterns that came from culture that came from your failure that came from your association that came from the poor mentorship platform that has built an inaccurate understanding about God Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome, you overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome, you overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken. You have the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You have the victor's crown. You overcome. Prayer point number two. This is the last prayer point now. Please. Let me pray for you and beseech you. Don't miss next week's service. Next week's service is another miracle service. I know we have a monthly miracle service, but that is when I'm going to be ministering. I will be taking out time. We are going to be breaking yokes and curses and all kinds of demonic things. And I will not only be praying for you, I will be teaching you that you will go back home and it will be like wildfire. That all this nonsense that has trapped people down, it must give way once and for all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now listen to me. You are going to engage the blood. Just one last prayer. Can I tell you this? I told you when Satan is afflicting an individual on legal basis, you don't cast him. You engage the blood. I will be teaching you more about the blood next week. But you see, the blood is the system that vetoes every legal operation of Satan. Because the blood is payment too. Are we together? Satan, when we, some of you who are into the financials, banking and the rest, they call banks systems of settlement. Is that true? If I buy something and I buy whatever it is, when you pay me, you have settled me. It's a system of appeasal. Transactions are simply systems of appeasals. That's what happens in the realm of the spirit. The blood of Abel was crying because there was injustice. It was crying for appeasal. And every time Satan stands to accuse you, before God, accuse your family before God. If the blood does not speak, he is right. So what you do in that state is to plead the blood. The moment you plead the blood, the scene of judgment changes. It's no longer you. It will be Jesus standing there. I want you to understand the revelation behind the blood. It does not matter whether... Some of you here are legal people. The moment... You bring the blood. The accused no longer becomes the accused. The accused becomes Jesus. Only one question will be asked of Satan. Who sinned that Jesus was crucified? It was not him. If a sinless man can become guilty, then a guilty man can be declared righteous. Based on that, the judge of all the ages will say you are not guilty once and for all. Are you ready to plead the blood? Remember what I taught you now. That in pleading the blood, you no longer become the accused. Your family no longer becomes the accused. Jesus stands in your stead. The advocate. Now I want you to plead the blood over your wife, your husband, listen, your children, your business, your family, mention them by name if you can. Every legal access that is giving Satan access over my life, by the blood of Jesus, I declare that voice is silence. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. The advocate stands in your stead. 
the advocate speaks in your stead the advocate he does not fail the judge of all the earth if the sinless one can become the guilty one then the guilty one can be declared not guilty go ahead and let the blood speak even for the sins of the fathers even for the sins of territories even for the sins of nations by the blood we call for the advocacy of Jesus over the matters of life and destiny over the matters of altars and covenants over the matters of decrees and agreements blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please shout this say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that by the blood of Jesus, the blood of the eternal covenant, every legal access that Satan has over my life, over my family, over my children over my territory by the blood of Jesus I declare that access broken now I decree and I declare that I am a partaker of the righteousness of Jesus Christ therefore I pass a decree as one anointed of God Satan take your hands of my life, of my job, of my destiny, of my health. I decree it is a new season. I decree only the word of the Lord comes to pass in my life. Your strategies of deception over me will not work again. I decree that I have spiritual enlightenment. I am a child of God. You have no power over me. The blood speaks against you. It speaks for me, but it speaks against you. In Jesus' name I pray. Give Jesus a big hand clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. We're wrapping up. Resist the devil and he will flee. You don't resist him by just saying go. You resist him by bringing forth your strong reasons. He said, present your cause. Bring forth your strong reason. The strongest reason is the blood. Are we together? Let me make the altar call. Thank you for your patience. Please let's keep standing to honor those who will be coming. I told you that salvation is the greatest form of deliverance. Because if you are not a bona fide partaker of the life of God, then you remain on legal basis a victim of Satan. He has right and authorization to afflict you. There are people here, you are listening to me, you are in this auditorium, across the balconies, outside, and following across the globe. You are saying, Apostle, give me a chance. I need to experience this deliverance fast. Or there are people who are saying, I need renewal of my relationship with Jesus. Following this series, I have seen the necessity for Jesus. If you belong to any of these two categories, I'm going to count one to five very quickly. For sake of time, I want you to boldly leave your seat. Remember what I taught you about deception. Don't give in to Satan. And don't wait for someone to stand before you come. As I begin to count, I want you to leave your seat. You are inside here, you are around. Please give them room so that they can come quickly and come and stand. Let's celebrate them as they come. One. I believe someone is coming to Jesus. Young and old. 
Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Is there anyone coming to Jesus? God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, celebrate them as they come. God bless you. God bless you. Come right to the front here. All overflows. Just move to your LED screens. And all following from your homes. Following from everywhere. This is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life. Win that war right now. Do not allow Satan to take advantage of you. There is a bailout system in Christ. Let's celebrate them as they come. Let's celebrate them as they come. Hallelujah. Thank you. Please, if you're coming, just rush and come. I'm about to lead the people through the prayer session right now. I salute every one of you for making this bold and noble decision. God bless you. Please join them quickly. Thank you for making this decision. We're teaching on the deliverance series and believe me, God means business with us. He means business with you. Thank you for that bold decision. It is only Satan who will be losing in this series. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now may I request that you lift your right hand, lift it high above your head. Please if you are joining quickly, just come and stand very quickly, very quickly. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Say this after me. Listen, mean it from the depth of your heart. Jesus is here. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that it is within your power to deliver me from the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave. I declare that I believe in Jesus. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign with Christ. The power of Satan, the power of sin, the power of hell and the grave is broken over my life. I declare that I am a child of God from tonight until forever i am a child of god amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones they have come declaring their faith in jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit i declare your sins forgiven and i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit i declare may you be grounded and established in righteousness from tonight you go forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Let's celebrate them. Now, I want you to please follow the counselors by my right, which is your left. All of you just move in concert, and the counselors will have a word or two with you, and you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Let's celebrate them as they go. Is this the best you can do, Koinonia? The Lord will bless you. The Lord will increase you in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you bless your people. That you will experience the reality of the victory that comes with Christ even this week. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you and cause the word of God to speak over your life. You walk in total victory in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. I don't have to remind you that you should go to koinonia global and listen to this teaching again please give your loved ones wherever they are across the globe listen to it again and again and again and again until it builds your spirit let's share the grace in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless. The word of the Lord said, Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. We believe that this word that have come through the mouth of God's servant has transformed you and it has set burdens in your heart, creating um, this mindset of heaven at last. Please, if you have not subscribed to our channel, do so by subscribing to our channel. And we believe that God is set to change your life for good in Jesus' name. 
and um, if you have not liked the video do so by liking this video comment and share to your loved ones and as you do so god is set to do new things in your life because the word of the lord says that the plan he has for you are of good and not of evil to give you an expected end god bless you hallelujah